Alrighty, so today we're going to be taking a look at how to play sounds on Replit using the Replit Audio Library. So go ahead and create a new Python REPL and call it whatever you'd like. I went with the 100% completely original name of Replit Audio, but you're free to name it anything really. Before we get to any coding, let me explain a little bit how the Replit Audio system works. Each sound is played through what is called an audio source. You can think of an audio source as a radio that can only play one song. But you may create as many radios as you'd like, and they can all have different sounds. With that introduction out of the way, let's get some coding done, shall we? Let's head over to the Packages tab and find the Replit package, which has everything we need to interact with the Replit audio system in Python. Once that's done installing, go to your main.py and import the package. Next, we're going to need some kind of audio to play, of course. I'll go ahead and upload this song from my computer by dragging it from the file explorer, assuming you use Windows, of course, and dropping it into the file pane. Okay, while that uploads, we can work on the fun part, which is the part where we use the Python package we just imported. Alright, the first thing we need to do is to create an audio source when the program runs, which we do by calling the audio.play file method, passing in the file name as the parameter, and putting it into a variable, again with the creative naming. Make sure you type in the correct file name. Here, I just copy-pasted it. Now, this code will run without any errors, but there's a slight problem in that the program immediately stops after it creates the source. So to fix this, we can put an infinite loop. You can use whichever method you'd like. However, here, I just implemented an infinite while loop. To do that, just use while true, and then we can use Python's pass keyword to do nothing. Go ahead and run the code, and you'll notice this box will come up. Just hit confirm, and our audio will start playing. Oh yeah, we groove it! <coughs> yeah. So that's how you play an audio file using the Replit audio library. But there's one more thing I want to cover, which is tone generation. What this will allow us to do is to generate tones such as sine waves. You can read the documentation for more info, but for now I'll just give you an example. Go ahead and comment out the old source and create a new one. This time instead of calling play file, we'll call play tone instead. We'll tell it to play a sine wave with a frequency of 440, or a perfect A, for two seconds. Alright, that should be it, so go ahead and hit run. Ah yes, so nice. If you're confused on something, or you want to delve more into the details, I'd highly suggest checking out the documentation in the link in the description below. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll catch you all later.